Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about using buttons in Labvanced, and there are several different ways you can use them. We have two types of button objects you'll see over here in the toolbar. We have a single button, and we have a navigation object. The navigation object is really cool. It comes pre-programmed with two events, go backward and go forward. So clicking back will automatically navigate your participant to the previous frame or trial, and clicking next will navigate to the next frame or trial. And those are already programmed in here for your use. You can change these to your specifications, but that's a super helpful tip. Using the single button object, we can do lots of things. You can resize your button, you can change its position on the frame, you can scale, do all of these things that you can normally do with object properties. You can also change the color of the button, which is pretty cool. And you can change the hover color. So this is the color that the button will turn when the participant is about to click on it. So that's super great because then your participant can see, like if there's multiple buttons on the screen, they can see which one they're about to click. So that's awesome. There are several events we can do with buttons and I'd like to show you a few of them. So let's say we want to record a variable. You can select your button as a trigger. And you can see we have all of these options here you can use. So let's say we want to record like a true false response, right? So I've already created this variable. If you haven't, you can just click new variable. And I set this as Boolean. So when I click on this, I would like for this variable to become true whenever I click on the button. This is great for when you want participants to make a choice, and then when you're looking at the data, you can just scroll down and see, did they click true on any of these questions? If it's false, that means that they didn't click it. And click finish. You can also increase a counter using a button object. The trigger will be the same. Mouse click on your button. The action can be set record variable. And let's say you create a variable here. You have it, you know, however scale you'd like. We have all different scales you can use. And for your little action here, you'll use an arithmetic operation. You'll select your variable again here. Click the plus. And you can set this as a numeric value. And now when I add in my variables, this will read every time this button is clicked, this variable's value will increase by one. So there are also tons of other ways to use buttons and you can scroll through those in our triggers and actions here. But those are just a few ways of using buttons in Labvanced. Thank you for watching.